Statistics from the Ministry of Health indicate that between September 3rd and September 9th, a total of 830 cases of COVID-19 infections were reported after 24,000. 460 samples were tested. This was lower than the 922 cases reported between August 27th and September 2nd, when a slightly lower number of samples, 23,850, were tested. Similarly, positivity rate for samples tested declined from 3.4% between September 3rd to 9th to 3.3% between August 27th and September 2nd. The notable decline in cases and positivity rate comes amid pronouncements by the Ministry of Health that some districts are experiencing a spike in infections. Mr. Emmanuel Ainebiona, the Ministry of Health spokesperson, said that in the past three weeks they have registered pockets of intense transmission in several hotspots, including Teso sub region in this districts of Katakui, Serere, Ngora, Kumi, Kapiela, Byong, and Karachi. The threats that the country is headed for a severe third wave have been central in delaying the reopening of schools, places of worship, and other sectors. The country has endured two nationwide lockdowns and the measures have not been completely lifted. Dr. Henry Kajumbura, the head of infection control and prevention in the Scientific Advisory Committee on COVID-19, said although the numbers are few, the threat of third wave is still imminent. The health ministry yesterday urged Ugandans to be vigilant, get vaccinated and be vocal in sharing correct and verified information to reduce the chances of entering a third COVID-19 wave.